So in this video, I'm going to show you how to mine Ergo on Windows. Now, this is what I personally do, but there are other options when it comes to the miner program, the wallet, and the pool to use. Now, I will have timestamps in the description below if you want to jump to the different sections. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of miner. Okay, so what is Ergo? Now, Ergo's purpose is to build highly secure dApps and smart contracts. So basically, it's similar to Ethereum. Now, Ergo is a proof of work coin, so it can be mined with GPUs. Now, first, we do need to get a wallet. Now, there are two popular wallets you can get. You can get the official desktop wallet from Ergo, or you can use a web wallet by Yorori. Now, the desktop wallet is more secure, but you do have to download a program in order to access your wallet. So if you have multiple computers, it may be a little bit more difficult to access your wallet. Now, a web-based wallet is great. Checking out Yorori, it looks like it uses a web extension. So basically, you can use this on any computer that has access to a web browser. It is a little bit less secure because it is web-based. If the website ever goes down, you won't be able to do any type of transactions. And another type of wallet you can use is like an exchange wallet. Now, these are the least secure wallets because technically it's not your wallet. It's the exchange's wallet, not your keys, not your wallet. So just be aware if the exchanges are down, you'll have no access. And if the exchanges gets hacked or if it disappears, you're basically going to lose everything. But if you plan to trade the coin or move the coin out right away after you trade, then it's okay to mine on an exchange wallet. Now, the exchange wallet I'm going to use is by Trade Ogre. Now, Ergo is not on many exchanges yet, but it is on Trade Ogre. And Trade Ogre does not KYC. So you can just sign up right away. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use Trade Ogre for my wallet because if I do mine Ergo, I plan to trade it for a coin that I want. So once you sign up for Trade Ogre, what you want to do is click over here, click on balance, and then you want to search Ergo right here. And then you'll see the coin pop up right here and then click on deposit. And this will be your public address where you can deposit your Ergo. So go ahead and copy and save this on a notepad because we'll be needing this for our mining pool and our miner program. So next, we do need to find a mining pool. Now checking out Ergo's official site, it looks like they do have four pools that they recommend. Now personally, I'm only familiar with Nanopool, and I used Nanopool before to mine Ethereum and Ravencoin. So let's go ahead and use Nanopool for this guy. So let's click right here. So this is what Nanopool looks like, and this is the Ergo mining pool. Now there are some key information here that you do need for the miner program to start mining on Nanopool. So first you do need to select a region. So depending on where you're located, you wanna change your pool to either Europe, USA, or other. And for the port, since the miner program we're gonna use only supports Stratum port, we're gonna use the port number 11111. So just keep that in mind because we're gonna jump back to this section once we edit our bat file for the miner program. Now, if you have your wallet address, you can plug it up up here and then click search and it'll basically take you to your wallet where you're mining Ergo. Now, I do want to mention that when you start mining, you have to give it about 10 to 20 minutes before you see your hash rates on the pool. So you may not see it right away. And to give you a little bit more information on nano pool on the ergo mining pool now this pool has a fee and is one percent it pays out several times a day the payout scheme is ppls and the default payout limit is five ergo but it can be changed from one ergo all the way up to 1000 ergo so the minimum payout you can change it all the way down to one ergo okay so next we do want to download a minor program so going back to this page, if you scroll down, you'll see four minor programs here you can use. Now, for some reason, Nano Miner is not working with the newest drivers. I think Nano Miner needs to be updated. Now, MB Miner works with both NVIDIA and AMD cards. SRB Miner only works with AMD cards. And Team Red Miner only works with AMD cards. Now, because I have NVIDIA and AMD, let's go ahead and use NB Miner. So if you click right here, it'll go to their official site. Now, before we download the miner program, we do have to disable the firewall and create an exclusion folder. If you don't disable your firewall, the firewall will delete the miner program and you won't be able to mine. So in order to do so, what you wanna do is go to your desktop. Let's create a folder. So go ahead and right click, go to new, click on folder. Let's name it miner program. And then the easiest way to disable your firewall on the bottom, you wanna find your search button, click on that and type in Windows security here. And you should see it right here under settings. So let's click right here. When you're on this page, go ahead and click on virus and threat protection. 
And then you want to go to this section where it says virus and threat protection settings and manage settings right here. And then go ahead and turn off the real time protection, which is right here. Go ahead and accept. So right now your real time protection is off. But if you forget to turn it back on, it's okay. Windows will actually turn it back on for you after several minutes. Once you turn off real-time protection, scroll all the way down until you see this section called exclusions. And then go ahead and click right here, which says add or remove exclusions. Now, once you're on this page, you want to go ahead and add an exclusion. And if you want to add it as a folder, and then you want to locate the folder you created on your desktop. And we named the folder minor program, which is right here. So go ahead and click on this and click on select folder and then go ahead and accept this. And then you should see it right here, the exclusion folder you just made. And then go ahead and exit out. And then let's go back to download the minor program. And then you'll see a bunch of files right here. But since we're on Windows, you want to download this one, which is nbminor37.6win.zip. So let's click right here. It's going to go ahead and download on the bottom. So give it a couple minutes. Once download, go ahead and locate the folder where you downloaded it. Once you find the folder, go ahead and drag the folder to your desktop. This will just make it easier. Now you do want to extract this folder to the exclusion folder you created. The easiest way to do so is just double click this folder. You will see that there's a folder inside the zip folder. And then what you can do is just drag this folder to the exclusion folder you just created like so. And then go back to the exclusion folder. You'll see the minor folder right here and be minor underscore win. So we can go ahead and now delete this folder. Okay, so next what you want to do is go in this folder. So once you're in the folder, you'll see a bunch of programs. Now the program you're going to use is called Start Ergo. Now first you do want to edit the bat file so we can start mining to our wallet. So what you want to do is highlight this, right click, click on edit. Now if this is the first time you're running this program, you're going to see this Windows protected your PC. To override this, what you want to do is click on more info and then click on run anyway. And there you go. This is the bat file you want to go ahead and edit. So let's go ahead and first change our pool information. Okay, so jumping back to Nano Pool, and since I'm located in USA, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this pool right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this, copy it, pull back up my notepad, and replace this right here, which is the pool. Okay, so once we replace the pool, we gotta also change the port. So jumping back to Nano Pool, the port we wanna use is this one right here, which is 11111. So let's copy this, pull back up the bat file, and replace these numbers right here to the 11111. And then we do want to replace our wallet address, which you want to replace this right here. Okay, so once you grab your wallet address, you want to go ahead and paste it right here. And then right next to it, this is your rig name. So let's change this to test. And then you should be all set. So to recap, you want to change your pool right here, your port number right here, your wallet address right here, and then your rig name right here. And then go ahead and hit file save. And then we can go ahead and close this. Next, what I like to do is create a shortcut so I can access it on my desktop. So go ahead and go back to this file right here, right click it and click right here, which says create a shortcut. And it's gonna create a shortcut right here. Make sure you grab the shortcut file out like so. And then we can exit this. And there you have it. You have successfully downloaded the minor program and edit the bat file to start mining. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start mining Ergo. So let's first test out mining Ergo on stock settings. So let's go ahead and pull up MSI Afterburner. Now I do have the most updated drivers, which is version 466.77. And the graphics card I'm using right now is the RTX 3070. And what I'm just gonna do now is just increase the fan speed to 80. Let's go ahead and now run this miner. You wanna go ahead and allow access. And there you have it, I'm mining Ergo on Nano Pool. So let's go ahead and run this for a couple minutes and check this out. So as you can see on stock settings, the RTX 3070 gets around 141 mega hashes on Ergo. Okay, so next but not least, let's do some quick overclocking to be a little bit more efficient. Now just be aware, it is silicon lottery, so my overclocks may not work with your cards. You do want to adjust your settings and fine tune it to be more efficient. But it looks like Ergo is more memory intensive. So for my RTX 3070, I put my power limit at 70, my core at zero, and my memory at plus 1500. So let's go ahead and now run the minor program. Okay, so it looks like the overclocks are taking effect. So let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like with these overclock settings, I'm getting around 175 mega hashes on the RTX 3070. Now, like I mentioned before, it is silicon lottery, so my overclocks may not work with your cards, but I'll have a more detailed guide mining every algorithm, so stay tuned. 
And last but not least, if you did want to make sure that everything's set up correctly in your mining, what you want to do is go back to nanopool.org. Go to the Ergo mining pool up here where it says address, paste your address. Once you do so, go ahead and search it. You do have to give it about 10 to 20 minutes to have it show up. So as you can see, I just started mining, so it just popped up. Now on the pool, since I just started mining, the hash rates are a lot lower compared to what you see on the miner program. Now just beware, this pool calculates the average. So what you want to do is you have to mine for at least four to six hours to get a true average. And once you do so, you should see you're getting the same hash rate on the miner program. So you just have to be a little bit patient and wait to have it show up. And then, like I mentioned before, the default minimum payout is five ergo, but you can adjust this to one and this pool does pay out daily. All right, so thanks for checking out my video on how to mine ergo. Hopefully this helps. And check out my other videos where I'll go over the hash rates and overclocks in more details. And if you have any questions and you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of minor every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to The Life of a Miner. I'm also the narrator, next time on The Life of a Miner.